afternoon. Let's get to it and try some wine. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Welcome back to Through the Wine Glass. It's me, Don Juan Clon. And this week we're tasting Yellowtail Pinot Grigio. Yellowtail is a very popular Australian wine brand. And it looks like we've got the limited edition 2014 vintage of Pinot Grigio. And it uh, looks like someone's already had a bit out of my tester bottle. So I'm wondering if uh, <clears throat> anyone on the production team had some. Oh, ay ay ay, this kitchen has such a mess. Oh, oh look, free wine. Well, anyway, <clears throat> before we actually get to the, to the tasting, our good friend Lord V here will take us away with a brief history of, well, the Yellowtail Pinot Grigio. Now for a bit of background. Pinot Grigio is an Italian grape that grows superbly well in the great wine regions of Australia. Aside from PGs, the Australians make a great Shiraz. This supple wine is tangy with hints of floral and green apple, topped off with light notes of pineapple and other citrus fruits. The Yellowtail Pinot Grigio is the perfect summer wine. The elegant green bottle just screams garden party, and its light palate goes well with quite a bit of barbecue and summery foods. You can even just enjoy it on your own. Thanks a lot, Lord V, and welcome back. And, well, it looks like we're ready for tasting. Now, noted this yellowtail is extremely, like, it's very clear, very light straw colored. I've got my beautiful crystalline glass here. I'm just going to give it a nice taste. So here we go. Mmm. It's very tangy. I'm finding that it's very tangy. You know, if we, if we do a little bit of smelling, we get a nice apple floral note. It is a very strong, very strong smell. It's very good, actually. It's very light. The palate is very light. Mmm. It's actually quite good. Yes. Um, I would not really suggest it for a beginner wine, because it is a little on the drier side as compared to last week's Moscato. So, I mean, it's, it's a very good sipping wine if you want to just, you know, sit at home. You know, when it's nice out and you just want to sip wine, it's very good. And probably very good with barbecue and seafood and chicken. Yes, yeah, quite good. It's yes, quite good. Coming all the way from Down Under, it's Yellowtail Pinot Grigio. We have the limited edition PG from the vintage year 2014. Immediately, taking in a deep whiff of tang and green apple, this Yellowtail Pinot Grigio is perfectly balanced and tangy. And now, well, here comes the sad part. This is probably going to be a really short video this week since no one was returning my calls. Yes, that's right, nobody was returning my calls. So I don't have a special guest this week. So this entire review is up to me. Um, so yeah, let's go over to my final thought. Oh, hello there, and welcome to Don Von Klein's Final Thoughts. Hello, Audrey. Anyway, the Yellowtail Pinot Grigio was the wine that we tasted today. And it was overall very well put together. Although it was quite tangy, a little bit dry, and I couldn't really taste a lot of the apple floral notes that the bottle was bragging about. However, it's not a bad wine, but it's not a great wine either. I didn't pay that much for it. I paid less than $15. So, I mean, it's not that expensive. But, um, I was kind of expecting a little bit more from a reputable Australian brand. But now, don't go ahead and judge Yellowtail. I've had several other Yellowtail wines in the past, and they have been quite good, but they're only about subpar. And please try to remember that this is my personal opinion, not the opinion of, you know, the 2050 show or anything like that. 
Anyway, I would recommend this wine for a barbecue or a garden party, um, but I wouldn't recommend it for a girls' night out or, or you know, some sort of party like that. Very good dinner wine. I would suggest it for that. So, um, yeah, it's it's a nice wine, but it's not great. But yes, I will probably buy it again because I sh sure as hell love summer parties and garden parties and barbecues and things. So overall, I would probably give this wine a 7 out of 10. And well, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching the second episode of Through the Wine Glass. And I really do apologize for my lapse. I was at the dentist, and you know when they give you antibiotics, you're not supposed to drink. But you know, you got to have a wine cooler or two. But anyway, you know, I was, uh, I was very busy with the dentist and whatnot, <laughs> trying to keep my Don Juan Clon pearly teeth pearly. So anyway, tune in next week where we're probably going to, spoiler alert, we're going to tackle a Riesling. So I'll see you next week.